Marcos heard a preacher saying that offerings given and distributed according to biblical principles produce a broader impact and more equitable growth on the mission work. Intrigued, he asked for clarification, and the pastor told him that three of those principles are, first, regularity. The frequency should be determined by God's blessings, not the church's needs or even our goodwill. This means that every time we receive an income, which is a blessing from the Lord, we should honor Him with both our tithes and offerings. The second principle is proportionality. A proportional offering means that the offering amount is adjusted as the income is modified. Many choose a fixed proportion or percentage of their income or increase to give to the Lord as an offering. And the third principle is a glocal mindset. Glocal stands for global and local at the same time. Our missionary effort and consequently our offerings should carry the plan of salvation to the area where we live and also to all the whole world. The Adventist Church devised an offering distribution plan called the Combined Offering Plan to make this distribution more equitable. According to what is suggested by the Combined Offering Plan, 50 to 60 percent of your total offering should support your local church's mission, sponsored by the church's budget. 20 to 30 percent will support the regional mission, usually sponsored by the conference, union, and division. And 20 percent should support the international mission, which the General Conference supervises through the World Mission Fund. Then the pastor told Marcos that where the combined offering plan is practiced, roughly covering 90% of the World Adventist population, every unassigned offering is automatically distributed that way. This distribution plan provides equitable growth to local, regional, and international missionary projects, ministries, and initiatives. But in regions where this plan has not yet been adopted, those willing to produce a global impact must manually distribute their promise offerings using similar proportions, according to Acts 1.8, simultaneously covering local, regional, and international needs. Marcos decided to become a global missionary agent through his offering. You are also invited to join him in advancing Jesus' commission to be his witness simultaneously in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth, which means locally, regionally, and internationally. As we return our tithe and promise, may we put our desires last and God first.